All right, we're back. So I guilted myself into covering sections six and seven of Rust by Example. Even though it's a little boring, gotta gotta put some respect on those chapters. So let's get into it. This is Code Along with Alex. I'm Alex, and we're about to do some Rust. So if we look at the docs, we're going to go straight into the conversion section. And uh, let me just read this for you. Primitive types can be converted to each other through casting. Rust addresses conversion between custom types, i.e. struct and enum, by use of traits. The generic conversions will use the from and into traits. However, there are more specific ones for the more common cases. In particular, when converting to and from strings. Okay. Let's get into the code. I'm going to toggle. I guess we're already there. Let's create a new project. Our new directory first. Make dear. We'll call this 06 conversion. Change into it. Let's close up this and then let's do cargo new and for this first one we'll do from and into and then let's cd into that new project and let's start editing the boilerplate so the from and into traits are inherently linked and this is actually part of its implementation if you're able to convert type A from B, then it should be easily you should be easy to believe that we should be able to convert from type B to A. That makes sense both ways. Okay. So let's start with from. The from trait allows for a type to define how to create itself from another type, hence providing a very simple mechanism for converting between several types. There are numerous implementations of this trait within the standard library for conversion of primitive and common types. For example, we can easily convert a string or an str into a string. So that would be done like this. Are you ready for MIPS? If you know, you know. And then let my string equals string from my str. So that's uh, one way. Um, we can do similar for defining a conversion from our own type. So if it's not just str to string, but some custom type that we created. So let's do that. I'm gonna just comment this out, leave it there for good measure. Start, let's uh, bring in std convert from. Next, let's uh, define a struct called number. We'll do the derive debug method, or uh, not method, but keyword thingy my technical jargon and the value struct will just have one uh, property, just a value of integer 32. Cool. Next, let's implement from integer 32 for a number and we'll just have a function called from item of type integer 32 returns self and then a type self and that's just number value item and then in our main function body let's declare a variable binding on num number from 30 and then 
Let's use our trusty old println macro. My number is our debug formatting with the string interpolation, num. Okay, so let's save this. We're in the right folder. Let's do cargo run. Let's find dead code warning, it's no biggie. Um, but you can see my number is number value 30. So we implemented how that would be printed out. Very nice. Next, let's do the same thing, but for in two, which actually I'm going to do a little bit more. One, two, and then we'll comment all this out just to kind of keep the steps clean for anyone who's following after the fact. Three, okay. Still got our std convert from. So now we're gonna do into. So the into trait is simply the reciprocal of the from trait. That is, if you've implemented the from trait for your type, into will call it when necessary. Using the into trait will typically require a specification of the type to convert into as the compiler is unable to determine this most of the time. However, this is a small trade off considering we get the functionality for free. I like free stuff. Okay, let's uh, get started. So, got derive. Ah, let me do another enter. Okay. Derive bug. Let's do another struct. Same as before. We could have left it, but get a little practice typing. Next, actually, I'm like super lazy, so let's just copy paste because it's just like one line that's different. I don't need to practice all that. You'll forgive me, won't you? Okay, so the from implementation is just the same. We just get the N2 for free. Okay, so let's just do let int equals five, just a new variable binding, and then let num of type number equals int N2. Okay, and then we'll leave our print statement. So we're converting our integer into a type of number. Let's run this code. Very nice, got the same results for free. Love it. Next, we're moving on to try from and try into. So I'm gonna create a new cargo project. So cargo new, try from and try into. Do lowercase. Okay, so similar to from and into, try from and try into are generic traits for converting between types. Unlike from and into, the try from and try into traits are used for fallible conversions and as such return results. Ooh, we let's go. Okay, let me close this main.rs from before. Let's change into try from and try into open that subdirectory sub sub nested directory and get started so let's import some std convert goodness to start we'll do try from as the uh, <laughs> cargo project's name might suggest, and the astute observers might predict the next one would be trying to. Oh, great. Now we'll use our derived debug 
but we'll add the partial EQ uh, parameter. For our struct, this time we're not creating number, we're creating even number. Important distinction. Okay, we're gonna now implement try from integer 32 for even number. Type error. And then function try from value i32 returns a type result self self error now the function body if value modulo 2 returns 0 i.e. it's even okay even number value else error nice okay so now let's do the main function body so we'll start with try from so assert equals macro even number try from eight okay even number Eight. And I'm a little trying to optimize my time. So we'll copy paste this, the second one. Try from five. And then this one is actually there. Yeah. And I'm missing one at the end. There we go. Okay, and then for try into, let results, is results, even number, Assert equals macro results. Okay, even number eight. And then similarly, copy paste this. Change this number to a five. And then replace okay, even eight with error. Because 5 integer 32 is not even. Okay, and let's run the code. Okay. Let's clear this. Looks nasty. Okay, cargo run. Got an error. Spelled result without an L. It happens. Same with this one. The perils of copy paste gone awry. Yeah, uppercase K somewhere here. Yeah, okay, everything worked. There was no output because we didn't do any println macro, but our assert statements returned true. So we didn't get any errors. So lovely. Okay, in our final section of uh, conversion, we're going to do converting to and from strings. So let's, this is like really wonky looking, I guess because it's so many, it's so long. <laughs> okay, so this one we'll call to... Two from strings. Oh no. <laughs> Cargo new to and from strings. We'll just deal with it. CD to and from strings. 
So now let's close the main over here, open the new main and then do a little reading. So converting to string. To convert any type to a string is as simple as implementing the to string trait for the type. Rather than doing so directly, you should implement the format display trait, which automatically provides to string and also allows printing the type as discussed in the section on print macro. Okay. Use std format, create a struct called circle with a single parameter called radius of type integer 32. We'll implement the format display method for circle which with a function called format, which takes parameters, a reference to self and to F, which is a type of mutable format formatter. And that returns a format result. So then we'll invoke the right macro, pass the F, uh, formatter, and then write a little statement, circle of radius, put in the empty brackets for ourselves, and then self.radius, passing our uh, struct parameter radius, integer 32. And then let's add a new line to our main function. Let's circle equals circle. I guess we don't have to do the line return on that. It's not that many parameters. And then we'll update this println to just be blank. The brackets and then circle to string. Can't forget those parentheses. Press save. Cargo run. Got an error. Spelled circle wrong, happens. All good. Also here, spelled circle wrong. Notice that happens. Missing a semicolon, happens. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Circle of radius six, sick. Okay. And then let's parse a string. We're going to leave this here. We'll have some unused code, so that's no biggie. But uh, let's do, lip. I guess, parsing a string. Let me read a little bit before I just smash keys. One of the more common types to convert a string into is a number. The idiomatic approach to this is to use the parse function and either to arrange for type inference or to specify the type to parse using the turbo fish syntax. Both alternatives are shown in the following example. This will convert the string into the type specified as long as the from string trait is implemented for that type. This is implemented for numerous types within the standard library. Uh, to obtain this functionality on a user defined type, simply implement the from str trait for that type. So parsed integer 32 parse dot on wrap let turbo parsed that sounds exciting 10 parse ooh fancy dot on wrap let sum equals parsed plus turbo parsed print ln sum trusty debug format sum semicolon boom save cargo run sum is 15 cool parsing a string a couple ways to do it nothing too wild and there you have it 
That was our whirlwind tour of conversion with Rust and the Rust by Example resource. I'm Alex. This has been Code Along with Alex. Thank you for spending your time with me and uh, smashing some keys. Hope to see you next time and uh, have a great day. Bye.